When you get to the top of this stairwell, you push the door open, but it is sluggish to move. When you look down, you see a large streak of blood sweep across the floor, and when you get the door open as far as it will allow, you look up to see a familiar lobby desk, but it's sideways, and there are people laid across it. As you step out, you hear a sickening squish as you step across the carpet towards the desk, avoiding the bits of flesh and blood-drenched bodies. When you reach the desk, you look to your right and see the elevator doors you've used on several occasions. Now realizing that the stairwell is past Neil's office, you continue through the lobby and down the hall with a much quicker step. Hoping to find Neil alive to beat some justice into him, you fling the door open to see what looks like the aftermath of a tornado, but the only blood in here is from the bottoms of your shoes. After sifting through some papers and personal belongings, the only thing you manage to dig up with any salt is evidence of Neil being a fraud psychiatrist with no ties whatsoever to the medical field or professionals. It seems as if he is just a playboy philanthropist with fingers in one too many pies for the good of the group. He could probably get away with murder and illegal trafficking of any kind at the same time with just the lift of a finger. After this realization, you continue through the now incredibly short hallway to the end where another sterile waits. <laughs>